We're back and we got a new host. <laughs> she doesn't want to say much, so, you know, she's a thinker, you know, she doesn't speak much, but you know, she has profound thoughts. She's our inside man, right? Woman. Woman, inside woman. Uh, you didn't hear she's so cute. She said, welcome back to the show. <laughs> okay, so today we have Ruben and Yeo. Um, Ruben, you're the organizer, the, the the curator, the promoter. I'd say the whole nine yards. You know, the, 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 the guy that you know set up, set had an idea, put it out there, and then I guess Yayo was one of the one of the many people that that said, you know, I'm I'm going. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna put myself out oh, there. Yeah. I'm gonna help you out. Yeah. You know, achieve this dream, right? Yeah, Yayo's always been a huge supporter of uh, everything we do in San Diego and. Um, you know, he's not afraid to take the trips and uh, take the opportunity and, and run with it. And, uh, you know, we've had a lot of good runs probably since, what, 2010 or something. Right. We've been doing stuff right. together. And nice, um, nice. now you presented this idea and we're up here yeah. hanging out with you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the new host. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the new host today, yeah. Um, she's, you know, she's, she's, a, she's a little nervous. She's a little nervous. She's, she's you know, testing the water seat if this is, this is her calling. Yeah, so, right. You know, <laughs> it's not scary. Artist but runs in her veins. So. There it is. <laughs> um, but overall, um, Yayo, um, how how do you usually describe yourself? Yayo as the artist, or yeah, Yayo as the artist. Okay, the artist, yeah. right? And Ruben, you always been the promoter, the the, the guy that organizes, yeah. or you also have a little, I would say, downtime to draw. And oh paint. man, I wish I, I can't even do stick figures, man. <laughs> I mean. Tell us, you know, about your relationship and how it works, basically. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't people even... people who wouldn't, like, understand, what's a promoter and an artist, and how do they, like, vibe? Yeah, you know, I, I, uh, I try to build relationships with, with artists, and um, I support, you know, the art community and, and artists, and, um, you know, I, I go to the shows, I, uh, I buy art when I can, I uh, promote all their stuff when I can, and uh, try to get as much, much exposure as we can for, for each artist. And um, you know we try to do it kind of on a on a bigger scale. So when you come to one of the events, it's it's um, it's an event. It's you know not just an art show. It's an experience. What we create, and um, I think the artists are happy too because the fact that you know when we when we do stuff, it's like thousands of people that come to to the events. So mm -hmm. you know yeah. it's a lot of eyeballs on on your work. And um, and you know our shows we've been fortunate enough to where we actually sell you know a good amount of art. So you know, when, when artists come and, and uh, they're part of the show, most of the part, you know, most of the stuff we do, they actually sell some, some pieces, you know, so it's a blessing all the way around. Yeah, it's a great opportunity, especially for us. You know, Ruben's been doing this for quite a while, and uh, it's a very exciting thing. This is the first time he's done the boxing thing, because before he's done the Lucha Libre and also uh, La Loteria shows, and they've all been a great, great experience with a lot of uh, people coming out and supporting and uh, you know it, it's an awesome opportunity for us as the artists that's why right. we thank Ruben just, for that. Um, the notion of the themes that he just described the um, you know in the boxing and also Lucha Libre. The Lucha Libre one. Yeah. Um, he would he would say you are also somebody that's trying to keep a culture alive not just yeah. uh, not right. just a uh, uh, just a straight one-sided culture but just in general culture yeah. right um, um yeah you always explain to me a little bit more about the boxing and uh, a boxing theme and how you you have a specific theme to it you know the golden era yeah the, yeah, the 1940s the, the 1940s yeah. you know where boxing wasn't wasn't just uh i'm gonna bet on the best fighter but it was actually you know a way of living you know yeah, it, was, yeah. it was a profession it was some some, some of them some people would say it wasn't so much of the, the brutal force, but more of the, the technique you know, yeah. behind it itself. So are you one of those people that want to still keep culture alive as, as yeah. a sense of you know, promoting art or yeah. hosting certain events like so? Yeah, 
Well, you know, the, the Loteria show and the, the Lucha events that I've done, um, you know, I call them, uh, you know, art and cultural events because it's not just, um, you know, it's, it's very much stuff that nostalgic that we grew up with. So like when we do, um, when we do do like something like Loteria, I bring in, I bring the characters. So like you're there, you're checking out the art and La Dama will walk, walk past you. You know, so we got characters like right. dressed up like La Dama. Yeah. We got El Borracho, we got El Soldado, El Catrin, and yeah, everybody's amigo. just kind of, in, yeah, Negrito, like everybody's just interacting. And uh, so, you know, we have live art, um, you know, at, at the Loteria event, I had, uh, I had like someone's grandma in the back corner and she was making tortillas and we had a you know, little grill right there. And she, you know, so it, you have the whole vibe of like, dude, I remember what it's like playing Loteria at home and you kind of want to keep that nostalgia, you know? So. Um, you know the pan dulce and we had vendors outside and we just made it to where it's it's something where it's a throwback to where you remember like being at home with you know mm -hmm. with the family and playing loteria and that's we want to keep that alive you know right. nowadays most people would consider uh, what you're describing uh, as a pop-up yeah you know like a pop-up yeah. exhibit pop-up art pop-up gallery mm -hmm. but for the most part um you are not trying to just promote the gallery itself, but overall the artists and everybody that participates yeah. in, in mm -hmm. the movement as art. For instance, you just described the whole factor that you have live models, you know, as in, or live people dressed up as the characters, yeah. you know, to play a part within, within yeah. the exhibit. So that gives not just the artist itself, but the photographers that are there yeah. you know, something, to, something to view at, even, even like you said, the kids or the generation beforehand they get to somehow connect with with these you know iconic images in our heads yeah. you know just mm -hmm. like you, you know your grandma doing tortilla and, and yeah. at home you know what I mean? or just hearing the notion of somebody making tortilla yeah yeah you know what I mean? it, you never you might have never seen it but the fact that you you're seeing it there or you know somebody that that has told you a story about their parents making tortilla yeah. You could you could somehow relate. Yeah. You don't have to mm -hmm. be part of the same culture. We live it right there. But, yeah. but we, we can relate, and that's that's right. good. That's that's something that brings forward, you know, two people from different, let's say, backgrounds or different yeah. aspects. And so, um, you, Ruben, I would say you you probably grew up with boxing. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm I'm a boxing fan. Um, you know, I wish I was more, uh, you know, historically involved and I knew all the ins and outs of it. You know, I'm, I'm just a fan. I grew up with Lucha Libre, for sure. Um, and I have a little more history with, with Lucha Libre than I do with boxing. Um, with, with this boxing event, um, it, was, uh, it was a collaboration. Um, the owners of the House of Boxing gym in, in uh, Paradise Hills in San Diego, uh, Carlos Barragan, he's been wanting to do a 1940-style event. And, uh, and he had approached me before. We talked about it. We threw around some ideas. And then... Uh, you know, I, I kind of wasn't ready yet. And then when the time was right, you know, we just got together and I said, dude, you know, I've been wanting to do a boxing event, you know, a boxing art show. Why don't we just kind of collab and we just do it together? And, you know, with the 1940s thing and then the art, and then, you know, we're, we're having live, um, live matches. And we actually have, uh, we hired on some actors. Mm -hmm. So to play roles of people in that era. So, you know, we got like a Mr. Big kind of character and he'll be there and like, cool. knock him out, you bum, you know, and doing all that kind of That's stuff. Detail. Yes. That's yeah. So, yeah, we're, it's it's uh, we got theater actors. They'll, they'll be involved, um, you know, people in zoot suits and the whole thing just to give like you're walking into that 1940s era um, right next door connected to the buildings, the VFW. So um, the VFW is taking part and they're going to have their their guys, all the sailors, like the 1940s vibe. So, you know, we have the zoot suiters and the sailors and. We got swing dancers, um, teenagers. They got a, a swing dance team that they're going to come out. And they're going to be part of the show. Um, you know, we got a, a crooner style a performer, like you know the whole Sinatra style vibe. He's going to come out perform. He's got a trio, um, a bunch of 1940s cars outside, like all set up. Um, San Diego PD has a, a 1938 paddy wagon, like an old school paddy wagon, dude. That they're going to come park out in the front. You know, just all those kind of cool little things. And we got some props and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, we have an artist that's doing um, two eight-foot murals, one of Sugar Ray Robinson and one Jake LaMotta, rest in peace. And, um, and so, you know, he's going to stand them out right in front of the, the door. So as soon as you walk up, you see these big installation okay, pieces. So it's, so it's like kind of like they open up the pathway to Yeah. The, okay. Yeah. Nice. So, they're, so, so yeah. they're your walkway into the ring. Yeah. For, for my Lucha event, I had a... 
uh, remember the lucha mask right. i had a big lucha mask as you walk into the 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 walkway and like the mouth was open and so you walk through the mouth to get into you know to to the show so you know it's kind of cool we want to do something similar we got a uh, our, our new host over here, she's doing it big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's, uh, she's talking to, to the last artist, you know, trying to... What's up, baby girl? You know, network. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's yeah. awesome. Oh, oh, I guess, you know, you. She, she, she did that. <laughs> Getting a little shy. You know, that's because we can't overwork them, you know. Yeah, Parents, she's, you know. She's going to start asking for a raise and... I know. Now she's asking for candy. <laughs> that's the raise. That's the bonus right there. Beautiful. You know, but it, it comes with a price. Phoebe, you ready to pay that price? <laughs> right. But th th that's good, you know. Um, how do you play in the factor that a lot of the culture that you're that you're implementing into into the into the event, some people might not see it as. I want to remember it, the uh, sailors in the suit suits. Uh, um, that was a big controversy at, at one point. Yeah. You know. So now you're you're implementing in a whole other, yeah. other structure yeah. where you're showing showcasing it as art. Yeah. More than. You know, as, as an event that yeah. you know, occurred, you know, we'll try to forget that event. Yeah. You know, right. try to reconnect it in a different way. Yeah. You know, I mean, th there's there's movies from that era. There's, you know, the beginning of American Me had something from that. You know, bottom line, if you know you don't want to relive it, don't come to the event. If you don't want to watch the beginning of American Me, fast forward it. You know, what I'm saying like to us, we're not we're not pushing any kind of agenda towards that. It's just, it happened and it was there and it was part of it. And to us, like, they're going to be friendly with each other and we're just, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a, a cool family fun cool event. Family and, event. No, no, and uh, you know, those that want to take it any, you know, any specific way, it's like. No, because um, the reason why I brought it up is just the fact that um, some people think certain culture stays with certain, yeah. certain aspects, huh. but the fact that you have art from, all around the world, yeah. all the artists are from different backgrounds, yeah. but yet yeah. they want to connect through a, a sport event that yeah. you know connected them with their with their family member that yeah. passed away or their father, you know. Mm -hmm. And in that in that sense, you you forget about the actual boxing match and just connect more on the yeah. art itself yeah. behind the, the boxing yeah. match. Yeah, you know, it's it's one of those things like even like. Uh, you know, the Lucha Libre stuff, it's like, oh, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of it now, but I remember growing up with it and my dad used to watch it and we used to go to watch the stuff and TJ and all that stuff. And it's, again, it's the nostalgia. Um, right now, boxing is, is hot, you know, and, and uh, no, we you just know. saw two fights. I don't know if anybody saw them. But right. you know, yeah. Some, some yeah. of us did, some of us didn't, yeah. you know. I watched yeah. it through a friend's life. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. No, know, but you but know, we we got some Canelo pieces. I got a, a you know our friend uh, Alex Reyes um, out in San San Luis Potosi, out in Mexico. He sent us a piece, yeah. and a, a Canelo piece, and you know we have some Canelo stuff that's coming in. Oh, and, so it's not know. just it's just not local artists, but no, we got stuff coming in from Poland, from uh, from uh, North Carolina, from. How all does all that happen through social um, media? Yeah, what just ne networking. Um, you know, I, I do. A, I try to stay kind of connected with a lot of the people. You know, some of the artists that I've worked with in the past. And, and how hard know. is it to just stay connected? Oh, it's 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 hard. I, well, my son's here, and <laughs> like you know, he sees like all the time. Like, Daddy, get off your phone! Or you know, I'm just always even though we're on our networking. phone all the time, it's still hard to be connected. Yeah, yeah. Which is very crazy. And uh, nowadays, with the art world, at least that helps, right? Yeah. I'm being part of this art yeah. community, yeah. even though, like, I mean, as you said. I grew up with boxing. My dad was a boxer in Mexico, nice. and, and, I, and I trained with him as I was younger. And I never connected art and boxing. Uh. I would never think, oh, I'm going to draw on some boxing gloves. <laughs> like, yeah. How does arte and boxing uh. go? For me, it was always, I mean, it was part of the culture, as in it was used as a way of entertainment for a while. Uh. It was also used as self-defense self or uh. as something they just like to do within uh. certain communities. But, um, Art and boxing, very, very authentic. Yeah. You know, yeah. I didn't, I would never mix them both, even though they both <laughs> been very present in my life. Yeah. Kept them very separately. 
but you would never think that art was that way, you know. But very cool. I think it's the, the love of both things that, that kind of make you want to do it. You know, I've been asked in the past about the, the Lucha Libre shows, and it's like, well, you know, it's, it's my love for Lucha Libre, my love for art. Like, I can't, I can't draw a happy face, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I, I can't, you know, I'm not great at any kind I of art. I feel you, because I'm not the greatest artist. I'm <laughs> not a very good artist. Yeah. But you guys but get I, motivated by it. Yeah, yeah I'm motivated, motivated by, by these guys. And, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, by that. Exactly, by them, by yeah. the camera crew, by, yeah. you know, photographers, by everybody who just puts it out there yeah. and... They love to do what they do, so yeah. we like to do what we do. And I love, share them. <laughs> I love sharing their their work to where you get, you know, you get people's eyeballs and stuff, and then the reaction. Like, I love seeing someone's reaction. Like, I have some pieces here. Like, I brought this piece here. Yeah, tell us That's from Soledad it. State Prison. Soledad okay, State see Prison. that? What you just did right now? I love seeing that because nobody would expect this from from an inmate in, in a you know. And, but, and, and the but, thing is, but, that, but that's the thing. We can't we can't just um, state it as we can expect it from a name made, but we 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 can. But we can. It. We can. Yeah. We can. We we should. Um, we should. And um and it's and it's there. It's just that our society hasn't fully like fully said, pushed we keep it. A lot of yeah. Separate. Separate. You know? you yeah. know what I mean? And the fact that they're able to connect with you so, through some yeah. some relative, you know, that saw your yeah. your feet said, hey. This guy is doing boxing. I know yeah. a family member that did a boxing piece, but he's, yeah. you know, he's in jail. Yeah. You know, how do I bring it out? Yeah. Somehow it was, it was able to be transferred yeah. out. And well, the, the story behind that is, uh, as, as Love Thy Neighbor, our, 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 uh, our non nonprofit, yeah, our non nonprofit organization, organization. We, uh, we get invited to go um, into, you know, different places where we, you know, we're able to kind of step in where a lot of people won't. So we got invited to Soledad State Prison. We've been there several times, and uh, they have art shows in there. And uh, you know, we've been invited to be, you know, hey, come in and and, and be a, a, a host or be a, a judge in some of the art shows. And so, you know, we went up in in June. And before we went up, we asked the community in San Diego to um, donate some art supplies, so we can take them back inside and donate them to the inmates for part of the art program. Right. So we went up in June and dropped off all, you know, a ton of these art supplies. And then we went back um, about a month and a half ago, we went back up there for an art show and they used some of the supplies that the community in San Diego donated and they created this stuff. Nice, nice. So this is, this is another art, art piece, the, the one with the two kids boxing. Two kids that's, boxing. Also, that's also from Soledad State Prison. We yeah. got you know, several pieces from, right. from it's inside. Just, it's just the fact that a lot of people um, go with the notion once, once you're in an in a, in a institution or a facility that, that requires you to minimize what, you, what you're capable of doing, um, there's still people out there that still go beyond it and say, yeah. I'm not gonna just sit in here and run away. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm still, I'm still capable of doing something. And if I could return it, yeah. then the more, you know, the more happier I would, yeah. I would feel. I mean, that right. makes me really, really happy because I remember when I was younger in college, I used to um, go to Santa Ana State Prison all the time and to visit friends and whatnot. And it would be difficult. Well, in the beginning, I didn't know, of course, that you could only um, do art with like pen basically just no. pen, and I would send them art and it would be returned because I <laughs> use different kinds of um, materials, but it's such a wonderful program that you guys yeah. can bring different kind of material yeah. to people, because I remember not being able to receive certain letters or for them to yeah. receive things if yeah. it was not just pen. Uh, but now you bring media different from yeah. the media inside. And they're allowing for us yeah. to bring the stuff out. Exactly. You know? so nice. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. That's that. good. That's good. Sure. And a lot of people would appreciate that. that. Like, like I said, it, oh, no, their, their spirit themselves, you know, and just by being there, they're not completely um, just closed minded and yeah. isolated. Yeah. They're actually still, still capable of doing something in return. You know? yeah. Some people would say they have to pay the price, but. And overall, uh, they're still human. They're you still know what I'm saying? Humans. And yeah. and every every show that I've done, um, no matter how big or how small, I've always incorporated inmate art. You know, and you know sometimes I give them a whole wall just dedicated to like, hey man, just I, I just want to give them exposure and let them know, hey, you're you're not forgotten. Like there's people out here that are appreciating your art, and. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, you get letters and you, you see stuff that people are doing and, and it's really easy to forget, 
you know, the, the, the guys on the inside. And, you know, I had friends and even family that, that had been locked up and I get so wrapped up in my own personal life that I tend to forget and I'm like, man, dude, this sucks. Like, dude, I didn't get to write my friend and you know, I didn't get to right. send them money or do, you know, and yeah. it, it's so easy to, to forget. And um, just doing stuff like this, I bet, you know, when, when they hear about this or we send them a picture about this, like, dude, they're gonna love the fact that we brought this and we did a show and just brought them exposure. You know, right. this is, to me, this means a lot that it I'm able to do this for them. Forgotten. Yes. As, as, as people would like to say, you know, because at least if they're in there, but their artwork's still here, at least their artworks, you know, yeah. speaks for them and yeah. at least their right. voice, you yeah. know, out there. Um, but that's, that's really commendable, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of people would say, when you do art in jail, you just, it's scraping up the pain off the magazines. It's like yeah. making your own, you know, your own kind of finding little yeah. things there. Like, what is it like concrete brick, you know, just yeah. making it down. To Toothpicks it, and all it, kinds of stuff. Yeah. Right. Just to be able to, just to be able to find like a way of, you know, yeah. to draw. But everybody now is, I guess, with, with technology is capable of exposing their artwork and, yeah. and showing it. But the people that can't, at least they have a voice yeah. through you, yeah. you know. And, and through the I'm artists honored. that, you know, draw them and remember them and everybody who is isolated or marginalized, you know. Yeah. So definitely. Yeah, yeah we're, we're honored to be able to be, you know, a voice for, for them or just to be able just to help. It works out, the, the networking. The, yeah. it, there definitely is a possibility for everybody to be helped. Yeah. We just have to want to and do it yeah. and connect with each other. I mean, we've been told that poverty is possibly able to not exist in this world because we have that much food that exists at the same time. Yeah, that's true. But it's not distributed correctly. So yeah. there is poverty. And so when many people riches, hang, hold on to it. Yeah, and like, yeah exactly. I, so it's very man made. Nice. Well, yeah. And um, to go about it as, as somebody that. Like, for it has the idea of, you know what, I'm thinking of making a boxing theme and then meeting the people that are pushing the same kind of artistic view um, to become of somebody in your position. How, how did it occur? Was it um, the first event that you threw? Was it a first uh, family party? Was it a, a, a little, you know, art show that you threw you know, <laughs> with, a couple, with a couple of friends? How, how did it originate? Do you becoming this well, how long until you first launched your first project? Well, you know I, you honestly like i you know I, I don't bring it up much but when you know we're kids junior high high school whatever um i had a little rap group and whatever and you know we were trying to figure out ways of like dude how do we get places to perform like you know some of the places are 21 and up and we're not 20, you know so we started kind of creating our own place like hey dude let's go into this dude's backyard and let us you know rap or do whatever you know and um and like during the high school stages, I remember, I think it was 92, where I actually like hit up a boys and girls club and said, let me do a concert here. And, um, you know, we had a band that, that's now multi-platinum. They're called POD, they're from San Diego. And uh, it's like, you know, they were performing under a different name, but they were there and they were, you know what I'm saying? And we got all the local rap groups and just did, did the stuff. And, and uh, I think that kind of was a, a, like a good aha moment for me where I was like, mm -hmm. dude, I can do this. And, you know, I'd kind of, <laughs> I'd kind of take over some of the homies, like little parties, and dude, let me invite all these people and let me do. They're like, dude, chill out. It's not a Ruben party, you know. But I would always like do that and like bring people together, and and uh, and you know when when I started entering the the art scene and started seeing like you know the potential of stuff, and I was like, man, dude, I love this piece and I love that piece and I love this artist and he's my favorite art. And so I was I like, find him, like, yeah, I'm like, how do I put all that together, right. you know? And so you know my first art piece, you know, I'd have people ask me like. So where's your stuff? Where's your piece? And I'm like, you're, you're standing in it. You know, this is this is my, you know. And so to me, like, I can't do any of the other stuff. But if I can help promote and get your exposure, mm -hmm. like, that's what I want to do. Right. You know? and, and it seems like your family has really supported you. Um, your kid, your kids are, you know, behind you. Yeah, even son. though they, yeah. they my yeah. son, they, my they kind of hate seeing their dad behind the computer, <laughs> the phone or the yeah. computer. But at least. At least they're they're pushing a, a, a notion and a, and a bigger idea, uh, a bigger concept of you know just what what it means to just be well rounded to yeah. being rounded, you know, uh, in general with with the community as well. Um, for the most part, 
I can, um, I'm proud of, of your dad and, and as well as them, you know, for, for sticking with you, you know, yeah, pushing, pushing your, your dreams and, and Yeo being yeah. one of the artists that, you know, also, also yeah. supports you, you know, your, your movement. Um, because a, a curator, a promoter, and a manager isn't, isn't anything without the artist behind, yeah. behind them. So now that we know a little bit about you, Ruben, let's just, let's go with Yeo and ask him yeah, yo. how, how he came about, uh, meeting Ruben and, and what brought, you know, your art piece and yourself, you know, as an artist here. I met Ruben in San Diego. Uh, I think the first show was the Lucha Libre show. A yeah. couple of years back, 2011, 2011. Yeah. and I, I really, you know, as an artist, you got to take uh, advantage of the opportunity because it's never, never, uh, how do you call it? Just given. Just given, okay. you know, and, and Ruben, that's what he does with us. You know, he does the call out, and as an artist, you always want to jump on it because right. right. you want to you know, show your stuff out there, especially no, okay. in San Diego, right. you know, and, you know, I live in Orange County and then in the, su in the summers, I, I live in Jalisco. Mm -hmm. So my, my range of art goes everywhere, mm -hmm. but specifically in San Diego, because I got family there too. And, uh, Barrio Logan, Barrio Logan, Barrio Logan. That's your community? That's where my, uh, my grandparents okay. m moved there. Right. From from Mascota Jalisco. So. Oh, that's not San Diego. Is it San Diego? Oh, no, that's San Diego. I, I thought it was San Diego where there's like a big old mural. There's a big art community. In San yeah, yeah, there's uh, yeah, Chicano, Park. Chicano Park. Chicano Park, Chicano Park, Park, Park yeah, with all those murals yeah, there. Every, yeah. yeah I mean. <laughs> so that was the first art show that I did with Ruben. Oh, okay. And then the second one was the Loteria show. Um, I'm not sure quite what year that was. I think it was the year after after the first uh, Lucha Libre show. Mm -hmm. And you know what, I, I enjoyed the first event so much that it got me like, okay. like, hey, when's the next one? When's the next <laughs> yeah. one, Ruben? You know? Yeah, when, when are you doing the other yeah, one? Yeah, when are you doing another one? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and, and Ruben does such, does such a great job promoting the event that we have like lots of people in there. Like it's really crowded and that, that's, what, that's what you want to see in an art show. Because sometimes not that many people go to, to art shows or art events, but this, the, it's not just the, the art, you know, you, you live, you, you, you live, you breathe it, and like for example, the experience, the, the experience, yeah. experience you know, mm -hmm. and that, that's what, that's what us artists want, you know, not just to have the art there, but also uh, relate to it, mm -hmm. you know, and then, Especially in this boxing, when I, I mean, I love boxing, you know, I was in the 80s, you know, Chavez, Mike Tyson, you know, uh, Salvador Sanchez, and then the, all the way through the 90s, we got like Marco Antonio Barrera, and Terrible Morales, and, you know, and, and I jumped right, right on it, man, it's like, and plus he, he got the, the sponsor of Everlast that donated the gloves, so... Nice. So I didn't know what to create, but this is what I did. It's uh, the shedding of a uh, Quetzalcoatl. So that's why you got all these like cracks, cracks on, like all these cracks on the glove. And it's like, a, it represents like a strike. Like when you hit somebody, like a snake bite and it, you're done, right? right? And I, I did something like this. I really enjoyed it. This is the first time I ever do something like this. I usually paint on canvas or on wooden panel. What kind of um, medium did you use? On this, I used uh, spray paint. Like, I had like uh, four to five different colors nice. on I see. it. I like the colors you got. And then uh, a Sharpie. Nice. The outline is a Sharpie, Sharpie pen. Nice. And I really enjoyed it. And uh, I'm sure people just saw the, the close-up picture of it, um, as you said. You use a lot of different colors and spray paint. And these are available for purchase. You wouldn't say you would um, box in them anymore, right? Uh, I don't think it's... Uh, <laughs> you uh, can punch somebody. You can punch somebody, but you can only punch, punch once. <laughs> 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 
and then you know you don't want the you don't want the paint to come out it leaves uh you know the glove and then and onto the face and then uh, leaves some yeah. on the face he, 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 yeah he wouldn't ask me any but um she's she's no longer here mm -hmm. that it's, well, it's still considered face paint yeah face paint there we go yeah e each each uh piece is going to be for sale um you know we're and gonna have oh, and also about uh, about the pieces for sale you also mentioned something about um the some of the ben, uh, the funds, the funds that are going to be for the pieces are going to be donated to to, to love thy neighbor. Yeah, so uh, twenty percent of everything that comes in is going to love thy neighbor, and um, with that money, we we do a yearly toy drive every year, and um, the first thing we do with those toys is there's an organization down in Tijuana, it's called Es por los Niños. Um, they're an organization that helps uh, kids and families living with HIV and AIDS in Mexico, so. Um, it's right like two minutes on the other side of the border in Tijuana, so we uh, we su you know support their organization. So they're the first ones that get toys, and then we hit uh, an orphanage in TJ that we work with, and then we also uh, hit a couple neighborhoods in TJ, um, down all the way down Rosarito. But there's a lot of organizations in San Diego that get that get some of the toys. We collect thousands of toys, mm -hmm. and we usually do um, like concerts or we do you know different events to get people to come and donate the toy. Like, hey, you can come watch a free concert, but you know, just bring some toys and some clothes and we're right. gonna distribute these throughout mm -hmm. San Diego That's and Tijuana. Cool. Yeah, yeah, so this year will be December 9th at Sweetwater Harley. Um, yeah. Sweetwater Harley Davidson down in National City, they're, mm -hmm. they're opening their doors for us to be able to, to do this event. They got a huge venue and um, they were one of the sponsors of last year's event. And this year they were like, hey man, why don't you come do it over here with us? So we're gonna have, uh, um, Andy Vargas, which is the lead singer of Carlos Santana, mm -hmm. he has a band called Soleros, and they're going to come perform. They performed for us last year. Mm -hmm. um, last year we had the band P.O.D., multi-platinum rock band, um, yeah. come perform. We had Frankie J., multi-platinum uh, right. uh, R&B singer. He used I, to be with the Gumbia Kings. I know the girls, the girls know Frankie. Oh, yeah. Frankie J. Yeah. <laughs> so he'll, he'll probably come hang out, you know. Um, the year before that, they came and did autographs. And all. So they're like firm supporters of what we're doing. Um, it's going to be a two-day event. We got uh, December 8th is going to be autograph signing with uh, Rey Mysterio, Lucha Libre star. And then uh, December 9th is going to be the concert with um, Andy Vargas. Mm. So, you know, it's, it's a production and it, it takes, you know, it takes money to do all these things. So... Um, so we're saying this is going to be, you know, a fundraiser for that as well. And, and then, you know, artists too, you know, they're contributing. They're, they're also providing not just their, their artwork, but also they're, they're providing some, some part of themselves to, to be, you know, used for, yeah. for, for a better cause. For a bigger, you know, bigger purpose. Bigger yeah. purpose, you know, than them. And right. I know it, it's a lot of people are probably wondering, how is it that love thy neighbor and then promoting a, a boxing thing? But <laughs> but what, what, what you were trying to say with the boxing is also um, showing good um good sportsmanship yeah. with, with everybody that that's in, that's involved yeah. within, within within that event. Yeah. And um, but tell us more about love thy neighbor a little bit, yeah. kind of brief, but just you know like a bigger concept of yeah. what love thy neighbor um, is. Love thy neighbor started in in 2010. It started as a as a toy drive event, uh, there was a, a friend of ours in Tijuana that um, we were doing a documentary based on uh, anti-human trafficking and um, he was kind of helping us out and he was uh, deported from LA and he was living in Tijuana. So he was kind of helping us out and I said, hey man, um, next time we come down, can we bring you anything? And he said, uh, yeah man, bring me a basketball. And I was like, dude, you know, you're, you're short as me, man. What are you going to do with the basketball? Like, you know, I knew he didn't play basketball, but he was like, dude, the kids in the neighborhood, you know, there's a basketball court right down the street. And, you know, they don't get to play because there's no basketballs, you know. And so, you know, I thought about it for a little bit. And, uh, you know, he's, he was a friend of my brother's. And, uh, and he was like, dude, you know, it, I've done so much bad in my life. Like, let me just do this one thing, like one good thing, you know, if you can help me do that. Uh -huh. So, you know, and just his heart of it, you know, we were like, you know what, you know, give us... Give us a couple of weeks and we'll come back with a bunch of stuff, a bunch mm -hmm. of toys and clothes and whatever yeah. for the kids in your neighborhood. Right. And that sparked it right there. Boom. And so that caused Love Thy Neighbor. So we kind of put it out as, hey, we want to love our neighbors to the south, you know, in, in Tijuana. And um, it, it kind of just spread like wildfire. We didn't expect it to grow the way that it grew. And to us, it was just a huge blessing because it was one of those unexpected things. Like, dude, we just wanted a couple pieces of toys and clothes and whatever. And we just got like truckloads of stuff. And, um, and it's been growing ever since. So 
the year after that, um, we were getting packages in from Las Vegas, Texas, Arizona. Um, we had one of the roller derby teams here in, Los, in uh, the Los Angeles um, roller derby teams. They drove down like a little mini U-Haul full of toys that, that they collected at one of their, um, their, 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 yeah, one of their, their bouts. And they just blessed us with a bunch of stuff. And so at that, at that point, we figured, man, this is turning into more like a movement, you know? Mm -hmm. And so we called it the Love Thy Neighbor Movement. And, um, you know, we have uh, 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 Bo Harrow's up in uh, Modesto. He's, you know, he's got a little chapter up there. We're kind of trying to grow some of the stuff. And um, my boy, uh, Paco Manson, he's a local rapper here. And, and his wife, they're, you know, they're wanting to do their own Love Thy Neighbor here in L.A. And, you know, we're trying to, you know, kind of, yeah, expand it and keep it growing. And, you know, it's been a blessing to see it grow. And we just recently got our offices down in Chula Vista in San Diego. And, and um, you know, what started as just, something that was in someone's heart to want to do something good is blown up into like dude we're visiting prisons every wednesday we're uh we're we're feeding senior citizens over in national city in, in san diego um you know we're we're just you know we're visiting the, the orphanages and helping out the orphanages and um we're hooking up um not just doing like good deeds like but you guys are all supporting each other in what you do you know yeah. like you're doing right. something you like and it's still doing a good cause Trying, yeah, trying, yeah. trying to do it. I mean, it, it works. It works. It definitely <laughs> works. Um, as as we we've seen it through our, our our channel ourselves, you know, the Escolex Hour, we promote artists, we promote people that want to promote art, or people that love art, uh -huh. or in, just in general, people that want to be surrounded by art. Mm -hmm. You know, right. and our our community movement isn't as half as big as your movement, but. It's still, it's still an honor to meet other people that are pushing our, pushing yeah. people to, to promote or, or helping others, you know, to somehow um, participate in art. Like yeah. just the basketball itself, it, it was just a notion of here, play a sport, but not just play it in, in a sense that you're just enjoying a gift, but yeah. you're enjoying the gift of, of communication. Now that you yeah. have a communication um, line with, with somebody yeah. that's from the, from the other side of the border, is there something else that you want to return? You know, and, and, yeah. and in that right. sense, it's 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 a growing it's a growing nation. I would yeah. put it, you know, because as we saw it within well, what's going on in Mexico and Puerto Rico yeah. um, and Miami, Texas, you know, Oaxaca, everybody's being affected by it in, yeah. in, in, in a different way. And these Even, are natural right. disasters, right? right. But yeah. there should always be able to be a community to back this up. Yeah, right. We know that natural disasters are going to happen. Yeah. Right. You know, people should not go weeks without being yeah. talked to or communicated us with. Even in the news, I, I heard one of the commentators say, um, look, I'm just so happy that the building in the front, um, even though it's shut down, there's still neighbors outside helping each other um, yeah. pass out food or like exchanging food. Yeah. But that shouldn't surprise us. That should be a right away notion saying, this is going on. It's a good thing that everybody's doing it. Yeah. You know, it shouldn't surprise us. Like you said, I was I I was surprised that that made it outside. I wasn't yeah. surprised that art was made yeah. in there because I know everybody yeah. who does art somehow, yeah, some way or another, they you know they diverge from their, yeah. their path and you know. Yeah. But I was just amazed at the fact that it was able to be yeah, extracted I'll, out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, extracted out because most of it is just on a piece of paper. If they were able to write that the note behind their artwork and yeah. send it to yeah. you, that's how you were able to get it, you know what I mean? But now, now the fact that you're able to take painting supplies and bring out, you know, yeah. a masterpiece, you know, yeah. from, from within, that, that says a lot, yeah. you know, that says a lot. The fact Thank that you're you. able to bring toys to, to another community and, and say, this, is, this just started as me giving a gift to me providing something way bigger. Yeah. Right. right. And and I'm glad that you that you um lend us your time and, and came down to to our you know, our growing show that's mm -hmm. you know, pushing something similar as yours. And we're also um doing, you know, a, a fundraiser for, for a local coffee shop next yeah. door who who also is you know not everybody like you said, and not everybody can can be provided with with opportunities. Sometimes it needs it, money is needed, yeah. and and it's a good it's a good effort that um, for this up, upcoming event that the coffee shop is holding, which is on Sunday. It brings forward every artist that, that we brought yeah. together to kind of donate back to you know yeah. to to a sense that they they could contribute to 
to a bigger party. I mean, uh. not just a coffee shop that some it's family owned, but uh. a coffee shop that's also promoting everybody else's yeah. artwork. Yeah, I mean, promoting like guys like us, you know. Yeah. And and just on on that note, um, we just ate there when we got here. And do anybody that's watching either my stuff or your stuff do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The the food is awesome. So right. I mean, to me, I was like, what? What do you mean? Like this is everybody should be eating here. You know, right. the no, food no, is no. awesome. And uh, to me, I was you know I, I I was amazed and it it hit the spot. You know, I came I came hungry, but mm -hmm. I was like, dude, this is this is bomb. No, you know, right. I can't, I was walking away earlier like, man, that sandwich is good. I mean, no, what's no, not no, more no, satisfying no. than like? A cafe, like we've talked about, cafes have always supported the yeah. art community. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know it's one of the first places where I've vended my plants or open spoke, you know, or, or poetry. Spoken or so. yeah, yeah, or, yeah, exactly. And so we definitely cannot keep shut. You know, it's definitely yeah. not a hurricane, but it is sometimes. You know, to the art community because yeah. mm -hmm. cafes matter just as much as yeah. other spaces that we're able to be creative in, yeah. you know, whether that be our home, or sometimes you can be creative in your home and you go to a cafe, or... Yeah. You know. Make sure you guys come support uh, yeah, here in Boyle Heights. Yeah. What's the address to next door uh, here? The Zapotec, uh, or Zapotec. Zapotec yeah. Cafe, you know, look it up on Yelp. We're there on Yelp, on, we're on Instagram too. You know, so if people that don't know where locations are on our Instagram page, it's the Zapotec Cafe. It's 2310 Whittier Boulevard, Los Angeles. Um, Definitely, it's right next to Joan Box. Just you know, case. and then if you have nothing to do on Sunday, come by. You know, Bring support, give a shout out, support, yeah. and then hopefully. Or if you can't make it on Sunday, we have a GoFundMe page that we've talked about, um, the Zapote Cafe that our, our social media. donations definitely. Um, do you guys, you know, have any last words for your audience or for um, anybody out there that would like to reach out to you to be part of any of your projects? I know you're yeah. all the way in San Bernardino. Ah, uh, uh, sí, me gustaría mandar un saludo. Este, a, a una amiga que está en Ciudad de México, Carol, Carolina Fernández. Espero que esté muy bien. Que nos está viendo por drumbox.com. También a Angélica Nuño que nos está viendo en Guadalajara, Jalisco. A Benítez que nos está viendo en Mascota, Jalisco. Man, we got a lot of people watching today. Uh, Gracias, gracias. Silvestre Silva, Nancy Silva, um, let's see who else. Dude, man, I just, oh. All of Mexico. <laughs> uh, make sure you come next Saturday, September 30th, to, uh, to this show. It's going to be a great show. Barn, what's, it, um, what's it called? Barn Burner. Barn Burner. Barn Burner the heart of, the heart of boxing. Va a ser un, una noche uh, muy buena de boxeo, de arte y de cultura. Uh -huh. Y también le quiero dar gracias a, a Rubén Torres que me invitó otra vez. Y siempre estamos, estoy aquí para ayudarte, apoyarte, uh -huh. así como tú me apoyas a mí. Uh, uh -huh. También a, a, a todos los que nos están viendo. Muchas gracias por sintonizar. Gracias, y nos vemos el próximo sábado en San Diego. Yeah. Much love to everyone out in uh, Mexico and Puerto Rico. We're praying for you guys. Um, you know, there's, there's a, a lot of disasters, a lot of crazy stuff happening, man. And we're supporting our, our friend Frankie J. He just did a, a, a hurricane uh, disaster relief um, event. And uh, we got a lot of stuff that's going to be going down to, to Houston and supporting that. But... Uh, Check out our Facebooks because we, we got a lot of stuff that's going to be going towards Mexico as well. Um, and I wish we can do more for Puerto Rico as well. Um, you know, just check us out, lovethyneighbormovement.com. Right. Um, check no out. Where you are, you know. Right. And like Ruben said, you know, it's, it's not just about being an artist, but also being somebody that wants to kind of be conscious about what's yeah. going around. So if you have any 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 like sources where um ruben could host any more events let him know that yeah. ruben kind of you know uh, a way to to send something to to a family member or help somebody you know by all means you know reach out to to ruben uh ruben is one of those um small people that he's humble at heart but he has he has a big 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 you know big idea and then that he's trying to push and which is bringing the whole community involved and bringing the whole art, artisans, creators, everybody to be part of, you know, something that's not just
big for them, but bigger for everybody else. Yeah. Right? And thank you guys thank for you. coming in. You know, being, thank you. Showing us the, the beautiful artwork that's going to be displayed. And you know. I guess next we're going to go on a small commercial break. And cool. we'll continue with the many artists. Thank you so much you thank you. for being here. Oh. And thanks everyone watching out there. So much show. Beautiful. Thank you guys, man. Thank that you. was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Uh, thank you, man. That was awesome. It was a lot of fun, dude. A lot of fun, man. Thank you. I like that. Thank you uh, yet again to all the artists who have been here today. Um, it's been quite a ride, like always, here at the Escolax Hour every Friday from 4 to 6 p.m. And today we have the honor of having two wonderful artists here with us today. Uh, may y'all introduce yourselves today? My name is Nigel, and I am Nigel. the owner of Just Be Dope. Just Be Dope. Yeah. And then your friend? Uh, my name is Arthur. I'm the photographer for his company. And hey. I just beat up. There we go, teams. And yeah. Like we were just talking about, there's nothing without networking. So tell us about your brand. 
So, um, yeah, networking is key. That's, that's, how, that's how we got connected. Right. So um, the whole brand is about spreading love, positivity, and just all over um, good energy. So it's called Just Be Dope. Just be dope. And that stands for just, you know, you wear one of the hats and you see it has I love myself on the front. So um, same with the one I'm wearing. So uh, it's really just about empowering other people. Yeah, there you go. You got to let them see it. Perfect. <laughs> So it's really just about um, spreading, like I said, spreading love, positivity, and empowering other people. So just be dope means just be you, just be yourself. You know, whatever is the best version of yourself, be that. And um, don't don't try to wear a mask and be something you're not. Be you because that's that's the, the blessing and the purpose you're supposed to be to this world yeah. and whatever you're supposed to offer us. So um, all my different collections all had that same energy and same message of mm -hmm. spreading love and positivity and just um, and influencing you to be yourself and not try to be something you're not. So mm -hmm. that's really the whole... Um, um, and just inspire people to show that anything's possible, you know right. what I mean? I mean, it's, so, it, it's a simple concept. Be you, be yourself, and love. Yeah, and and it's, it's just you know? it's a formula. It, and it's just yeah, simplicity yeah. that people complicate. And that's what um, really builds up just a natural like, conflict when it comes to just being fashionable stylists, stylists stylist and everything when it comes to just um, being part of this art industry just because people are, just get so confined to the money and this and that really the only reason why I decided to take pictures and even work for this company, especially just because that particular aspect, which was just, it's not just because of the style and it's not because of um, how you design the clothes, but really just how simple something can be and how impactful it is and how people mm -hmm. would just love to complicate something so simple, just like how humans complicate things every day when mm -hmm. we have something so straightforward. And so that's why I love this, this brand, just because it really represents me myself to a whole. Even though you're stuck with treacherous things, you can just it's always great to spread love. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got to. And that um so as you see, I'm wearing one of my shirts, keep your head up. Um these yeah, are, but how can we find you again? You you can find us so on Instagram we're at just be dope lifestyle. Cool. Website is just be dope .com, and we are on Twitter as well, just be dope for me. Nice. And uh, you can always catch us around LA, downtown LA, Art Walk, um, all the different Art Walks going on. I like it. And we have a big fashion show coming Sunday, yeah. November 12th. Nice. 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 Something we're special, so make sure you guys look out for that. We also, we also, you know, partake in another fashion show. We had, had our, our first fashion, live fashion show. Uh, that's dope. So, that's yeah. dope. So, Whenever you know you y'all are down, okay. let us know. Let us yeah. know. You know we could also you know put put together something you know you know. But that's awesome. What day did you say you're gonna have your shot? Sunday, November twelfth. It's gonna be big. We're gonna have perform. It's gonna be in Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a drive from okay. here, but we're gonna have some food vendors, a lot of some yeah. performers, a, a food some truck. More locals than, than, than others in Hawthorne. I know Hawthorne yeah. very well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> for sure. For sure. So, you yeah. know, that trip would just be you know be be a plus. You know, for for all of us, awesome. just uh, we could see old faces and, and new faces too. Yeah, well. meet new people. More people um, are coming are coming forth with you know just just positivity and yeah, as well yeah. just you know like so um, definitely like, keep it up. Y'all keep working together, and I appreciate you guys sharing this with us and no doubt. just the simplicity and the beauty of working together and pushing what you love. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's, it's crucial. It's crucial. Right. Anything is possible. Exactly. Um, thank you, Nigel. Like thank we, you. Like he said, you want to repeat the Instagram page? Or? Yeah, so the, the Instagram is Just Be Dope Lifestyle. So it's, it's long, but it's real simple. Just Be Dope Lifestyle. And it's, okay. it's a lifestyle, you know, how you, how you love yourself, how you live your life. So just think that. Right. Just Be Dope Lifestyle. And then the website is justbedope.beercartel.com. That's probably nice, nice. the best part. Nice. Just every day, just seeing your own clothes looking yeah. great, but also just giving a nice positive yeah, message, to. which you know, a lot of people forget. It's like the, the shirt says, keep your head up, you know. Yeah. yeah. Even though, you know, you, you, you know, you might not like what, what's going around, but just, you know, just keep moving keep yeah. pushing you I know should. just through through everything you go through i'm a, i'm a i know we got to get ready to close but i want to finish with is that um we all have our struggles and different problems we go through you know what i'm saying but it's all about how you choose to react if you know you're going to go through it anyways why go through it miserable and being in that negative space it's just going to be worse choose to keep your head up see that light at the end of the tunnel learn from what you go through and come out stronger and just know everything's possible nice. those nice. are beautiful closing words thank, thank you, you so much yet again Thank you, Nigel, um, for just, you know. Hope to see you guys here again, yet on the Escalax okay. Hour or out there. Keep going and keep sharing. No doubt, Thank no doubt. So and much, also the photographer, Arthur, and, uh, Arthur, 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 Arthur,
be cool. Yeah, right. I'll talk. Just Thank be you dope. so much. And then up next we have Art Wars, which yet again is another um, group of artists who are here today to share a little bit about their event yeah, that's happening. Um, um, and like we said, it's all about sharing the things that we like to do and always having connecting. something to do. You know, you know, it's really oh, yeah. the connections. I mean, we're able to produce this show every Friday because of the connections. And so then, and also without the y'all and the people that we meet that accept this kind of community, we would be not existing. So That's definitely real. thank you for promoting that. Oh, no and doubt. For keeping that going. It's all about the love and the energy. So no thank doubt, you. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Here we are, um, Art Wars. Um, oh, yeah. Art we are definitely ready for you. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, you take, if you guys want to scoot down. Scoot or down. Or yeah. Have our, our other others. Yes, star. Or come on. <laughs> How you doing? Here we go. Just getting that cup. Come on, come on. You got room? You good? Yeah, all right, cool. Let me squeeze in here. We all, we all, want, we all want big family, man. Come on in. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Introduce yourself for us real quick. I'm so happy Art Wars representative is here today. <laughs> hey. What can you tell us in um, So real quick, I'm the general manager over at Art Wars LA. I'm basically in charge of um, all operations. All operations. You got me? Are you scared? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can drop the flow real quick. Nah, but on some real stuff, uh, basically general manager over at Art Wars LA. Uh, we host shows all over Los Angeles, predominantly in like uh, communities of low-income housing, um, families and stuff like that. We go to Watts, Boyle Heights, Highland Park, and just try to represent the culture. I think one of the most important things for us is... Uh, being able to represent art that otherwise wouldn't be seen at galleries like, you know, the Hammer Museum or, you know, the Getty and stuff like that. Nice, nice, nice. You know, and what's the whole back backbone to um, art wars? You know, just because every time people hear art and then wars, it's just like, it's like a kind of like a graffiti battle, you know? It's like, who's the best, you know, who's the best MC, who's the best, you know, <laughs> DJ, who's the best, you know, artist, but What's your, your, your intake on art words? What does it represent? What does it mean? No doubt. Um, well, at, at the core of it, we're like a lot of revolutionaries that came together. A lot of us look up to like Malcolm X. A lot of us look up to like Che Guevara. A lot of us like really like <laughs> grew up listening to Pac and stuff like that, Nas. And we just really wanted to do something for the people. We ran into some situation with the city where they wanted to buy us out a few times already. And um, we w always wanted to stay independent. We did collaborate with the city for like our last three events. Uh, we just wanted to take back some of the, you know, these government facilities. We took over like LA City Hall, the top floor. We took over Boyle Heights City Hall. Many, many other, you know, situations, but the way that they came at us wasn't, you know, nice, you know, nicely put in some of these contracts. So, uh, to tell you the truth, hey, mama. Come here. Yeah. Eee, bubbles. Um, but yeah, just to answer your question, at, it, it's kind of like a mixture of, think about it like an Olympics mixed in with like a EDC carnival where it's like, it's not really a competition, it's more like everybody displaying their artwork and uh, being able to go ahead and let them know like, yo, um, there's many artists out here. We usually deal with about 50 artists. Uh, there's four divisions, live arts, submission art, performing arts, and spoken word. And uh, we have about uh, vendors too. So one of the things I did want to come on here and speak about is we got a podcast coming up. Okay. And nice. um, this podcast, we signed up for a 10 pilot <laughs> so cute, she's so cute. Uh, we got a podcast coming up, and um, we got 10 episodes, one every week, and um, just giving the, the voice back to the people. Again, we work with a lot of revolutionaries, and we just want to make sure that, you know, our voices are heard. That's about it, honestly. Yeah. I appreciate, um, yet again, artists like you, and people like you, and everybody that... Uh oh. You're able to. Turn up. Hey. It's okay. It's all right, boy. <laughs> thank you. I mean, like I said, thank you so much, Art Wars, um, for being here with us today and just be dope representing artists and 
Rini Arte de Corazón, um, um, Ruben Torres, Yeyo, Glenda, our wonderful model, and Ed, um, oh Melly, of course, today. Um, they were all able to put together a, a wonderful show that we wouldn't be able to have um, if we weren't connecting and trying to all spread the same message, which is sharing love and continuing art as a community um, here in LA, in San Diego, internationally, um, within all genders and all borders. Um, so definitely, um, thank you, um, the Escolax Hour, John Box, Henry, and Marco, and all of our guests here are here today, um, who, who can, of course, Absurd, sometimes absurd, <laughs> and Doom today, one of our friends and fellow photographers. Thank you so, um, for everybody, and of course, Agrini's beautiful baby for being our star host today. And yay, Observe is here. But thank you so much, <laughs> again. Um, and of course, our wonderful model. Look at how cute your baby is. Mm. Thank you so much um, for sharing the art and for continuing for the community to 